Okay, I'm Bruno Randa from the European Informatics Institute, and I would like to thank again for for the fourth time to be here today to the organizers and all uh, and all these people. So I'm going to talk about psychic, and psychic is more of a use case because it's just not yet reached the the, the state where we are able to integrate data with other resources, and we would like to to study what is the best way to put a lot of molecular interaction data, which is what is it about, to integrate it with other resources. So, yeah, uh, actually Psychic was started four, year, four years ago in the biohack firm. So it's one of these cases that Katayama-san has mentioned where this uh, biohackathon can help some new technologies to merge. And this would be, I would say, a success story. It was published last month in uh, Nature Methods. Um, yeah, we're very happy about that. Um, so Psychic is a very strange name. Uh, it's probably spelled in many different ways in many different places. I, I, I haven't seen twice the same spelling. And actually, when we published this last month, there was an editorial in the same issue uh, recommending against using a strange acronyms uh, for methods. So I don't know if it's related or not, but um, point taken. So basically, it's about molecular interactions. And we have um, a sample. We have an interact on molecular interactions. And different publications that different authors and different experimentalists are writing about parts or specific interactions. And then we have many interaction databases, uh, which each of them are specialized. Well, there are some that are more global. Others are just specialized in some organisms, like yeast. Um, and the idea is uh, we work to this point. I mean, it's like the problem we're having in the data, but in a very smaller um, scope, which is just molecular interactions. And we were having a lot of problems just to integrate the data from the different molecular interaction databases, so even the same kind of data. Uh, so it's where we decided to uh, create this psychic service. We were at a point where all the different interaction databases, we were starting to use the same standard formats, which was a, a, a success already. But then we decided, why? can we access to this data in the same way for all the different repositories? And that is what Psychic is about. It's, it's like a web service that you can use to access any of these uh, molecular interaction databases using exactly the same methods and the same queries. So Psychic stands for the Proteomics Standards Initiative Common Query Interface. And it's basically, again, a community effort to, to, to standardize the ways to access the data. And there is a registry listing all the psychic resources. And now there are about 20 or so. And it's based on the standard formats. And well, there is a Google code project with all the information. And basically now, through this uh, set of services, more than 30 million uh, uh, molecular interactions are available, which is a bit misleading because 26 million already come from the string database, which contains a lot of predictive molecular interaction. But still, many of the, the, the uh, uh, major uh, molecular interaction resources are already providing their data to Psychic. So Psychic would be like the ideal, the ideal place to add all this uh, semantic integration in place. Because just modifying the Psychic service implementation, we can make all these uh, resources output the same kind of data or integrate it with I don't know, we can think in, in different places, we even say we could even have a CD wrapper for a psychic that makes all this data just available instantly to, 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 to everybody. So now these are the standard formats it outputs, Let's, the, the proteomic standard initiative formats, but as well, uh, since last year we started to output the uh, uh, biopacks, which is RDF, and it's work in progress, we are still working a bit on the on some of the uh, elements. And obviously, because we use the Jena Java library, we have all the RDF uh, flavors. And that's how it is. Psychic is a lot of people collaborating on this project, a lot of resources. And it has taken quite a while just to agree between us.
to use the same formats and, and, and methods. So, yeah, thank you for. Uh, but I'm looking forward as well to see how we can integrate all this with other resources and, and make all this available uh, through all these tools we're talking today. So, thank you, everybody, for your attention. one of the objectives, I think, that we can easily do just working on the RDF. Yes. Uh, 